In today's video, we will be discussing about fracture healing. Our learning objectives are to understand the steps involved in healing of fractures, to know the complications of fracture healing. Fracture healing. So, basically, first we need to know the types of fracture. Fractures can be traumatic in previously normal bone or pathological in previously diseased bone. They can be complete or incomplete. They are referred to as simple or closed fracture or they could be commuted with splintering of bone or compound fracture communicating to the skin surface. It involves the following steps. The first step in the healing of fracture is procallus formation followed by osseous callus formation and then there is remodeling. What is procallus? Procallus basically starts with a hematoma followed by local inflammatory response with callus being composed of woven bone as well as cartilage. The next step is osseous callus formation. The woven bone is cleared away by incoming osteoclasts. This is followed by a stage of remodeling. The bone continues to form and become compact, returning to its original shape. This may take months to years. So, this diagram is important. What we find here is initially after the following the fracture or the trauma. This is a very painful stage. There is hematoma with inflammatory cells followed by granulation tissue. Similar to the cutaneous wound healing here also there will be a granulation tissue formation. Then we get the procallus formation which is woven bone with the cartilage. Now this is a very painful stage and what usually what we do is we immobilize the limb. In the next stage, osseous callus, as I mentioned, the cortical bone start being laid down, the woven bone is replaced. And finally, to come back to the original stage of remodeling, it takes time, at least six months to a year. So this is an example how the fracture which was there and this fracture is now displaced. And then you can notice here that there is the Callus formation, right? Callus formation is there, and finally, it is the procallus becomes osseous callus, and this undergoes remodeling in about six months. So, this stage is clinically when the pain stops, that is taken as healing. So, when do they regard healing? Healing is clinically when there is no tenderness at the site of fracture, the clinician says, Yes, healing has happened. What are the factors affecting uh, affecting bone healing? Movement of the bone fragments, weight bearing too soon. If you if someone has undergone a fracture and they start moving very fast, then that adversely affects the healing. Smoking, medical conditions such as diabetes, hormone related problems, vascular diseases, some medications such as corticosteroids, other immunosuppressants, fractures that are severe, complicated, or become infected. In advancing age, the fracture healing becomes slowed down. Poor nutrition or impaired metabolism also slows down the fracture healing. Complications of fracture healing, fibrous union. If the patient uh, does not immobilize the limb, then instead of a proper bony union, there will be just be a fibrous union. Or if there, is, there could be just a non-union, the ends of the fracture will not unite at all or they could be delayed union. When the union is delayed, then the expected time. To summarize, fracture healing involves a primary union followed by secondary union. Secondary union involves three steps, procallus formation, osseous callus formation and remodeling. Complications of fracture are fibrous union, non-union, delayed union. These are my references. Please like, subscribe and share this channel. Thank you.